Even Shift has editing credits ranging from being an assistant editor for Rambo at Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol to more recently being the lead editor for John Wick Chapter 2 and 3 where he created an editing style that has now become synonymous with the Wick franchise. This video essay will analyse how Shift work experience on action sequences has developed and expanded the grammar of action cinema. To determine how Shift's editing is different for John Wick compared to his other movies, we need to explore how he usually edits action sequences. An editor is always looking at a way to hide a cut to make it less visible to the audience. One way to hide a cut is in the middle of action. Take this scene from Mission Impossible 4 with Shift with the editor on. There are three cuts in the swing of the arm, with the footage being sped up to hire the three cuts. One, two, and three. This continues as the fight scene progresses, with cuts being made during the leg kick and the punch to the stomach. Similarly, this fight scene from Everly, which Shift was the editor on, has three cuts. The swing of the arm, the kick, and the character rolling over. These action films that Shift has edited shows an action sequence with cut in the middle of action, allowing a new cut to take place. This allows for a seamless transition between two consecutive shots, resulting in continuous action for the audience, especially during the fight scenes when no actual physical contact is being made. However, Schiff is not rewriting the rules of action cinema with his editing, but he has a style that is unique to the Wick franchise. For John Wick, they have taken a lot of grammar of editing and production from Hong Kong action cinema and applied it to Western action cinema. To see the influence of the John Wick franchise, we can look at some action scenes from Hong Kong and Asian cinema. The first scene is from Way of the Dragon. This scene stays in a static wide shot to allow the audience to see the fight choreography from Bruce Lee. It links back to the classic 1970s kung fu films where the star performs their own stunts, meaning there are minimal cuts allowing the audience to focus on the action. There are double taps applied to the frames, which is common in the editing for Hong Kong action cinema, making the movement of the weapons faster to highlight to the audience that Lee's ability is superior than his opponent's. This influence is evident in the opening of John Wick 2. Schiff said he was not trying to hide anything by cutting, thus he mostly stayed in a wide shot, showing the whole fight choreography. This is unlike in other action films where rapid cuts are used to sell the illusion that actors are solely responsible during the fight scene. Schiff does use a few cuts to show the different camera angles to heighten the pace, thus creating tension during the fight scene. For example, when Reeves turns to face his opponent, when he throws punches, and when he throws his opponent to the ground. Another action film that has influenced the Wick franchise is The Raid. An example is the fight scene which uses double taps to create faster pace for the action scene. Therefore, when the footage is slowed down, it is easier to see the choreography for the fight. Cuts are noticeable to show the winning move for the fight, which is done by cutting to a closer shot, and it sets up the audience for the end of one fight and the beginning of another, so they are not confused over who the protagonist is fighting. This can be seen for the knife scene in John Wick Chapter 3, Shift cuts to show the end of one fight scene and the start of another, allowing for a constant pace and continuation between each shot, as a cut happens on a hit which carries the audience's attention for the fight. Shift said he wanted to communicate to the audience that the action is real, by not having rapid cuts. In conclusion, Shift has not expanded the grammar of action cinema. Instead, he has used well-established techniques from other cultures such as those from Asian action films and applied it to Western cinema. Thus, he 
he has created a different and unique experience for Western audiences when they watch action cinema.